Hey guys, and welcome back to the second episode of the Newcastle Jets in the AFL playthrough. Hope you guys like the first introductory episode, and today we're going to get into some gameplay. First, we quickly looked at Henrik Olsen, who I found in our youth academy. And after changing him from centre midfielder to striker, he grew 11 points. So after I do a quick interview, he's named into the starting lineup for the first game of the season away to Forest Green. I will be honest, I think I cut the in-game scenes a bit too quickly. I'm new at all this, so please bear with me while I figure it all out. And hopefully today's episode is... Not that bad, and we move on to bigger and better things. Early on, we see Jack Duncan with a big save. Big Jack, um, he mystifies the Jets fans, but hopefully we'll see a big season from him, him in real life. And following that save, Forrest Green knock it around a bit, and Big Jacko comes up with the goods again. Not long later, Doherty has a, works the ball around in the box quite nicely, actually gets the finesse shot away, and McGee goals for Horace Green comes up with a big save and the score remains nil all, but it wouldn't remain that lo that score line for very long. Forest Green take the lead 20 minutes into the second half. Stephen, after a nice cross, just taps the ball in. But the Jets will go on the break here and you'll see them push forward and I believe we will get an equaliser on this scene. We knock a ball down quite well and we sweat the goal across to Olsen on debut and he slams it into the Forest Green goal making the score one all. And after some crazy celebrating, that's how the score will finish one all. And I think I go to the after game interview and the fans are into Ingram for some reason. And I just think he deserves a bit of respect and hopefully... He'll pay us back in spades. We quickly jump to the second game of today's episode in the Caribbean Cup against championship team Blackpool. And it doesn't take long to them work. Second string goalkeeper Noah James, who gets down well to his left and pulls off a big save. But Blackpool would take the lead pretty early. Some bit of shock and defending. And they just finish the ball quite easily. But the Jets, we grind our way back into it. Nice through ball to Olsen here. Plays across to his strike partner who finishes it off nicely and we go in. Blackpool are two divisions above us in AFL Championship. They got promoted from League One last season, so it's nice to see us hanging in there. But unfortunately, early in the second half... Oh, sorry. That was Noah James keeping us in... The score won all just before half time, but early in the second half, Blackpool would take the lead 2 1. But you wouldn't believe it, us. Some nice lead up play by the young kid Olsen. Kantorowski from outside the box, left foot oh, into the far corner. <laughs> An absolute wildy, followed up by the worm. The things you love to see. And then we win the ball back in midfield, knock it out to young Archboard, who I. Change to a right wing back and the big fetter Bomel he scores the winner and we knock Blackpool out of the Carabao Cup absolute scenes after the game and then follow up with the final episode of final game of today's episode against Salford City at home our first home game of the season and they take the lead 25 minutes into the game and the celebration really annoyed me. It only took us four in-game minutes. And we were back on level terms. Thanks to Angus Thurgate. Not much happened in this game, I've got to be honest. It was a late chance for Valentine Newell, who used his pace to get in behind, but unfortunately couldn't finish. I hope you guys like this quick video. And I'll see you guys later. Ciao.